We have firing command. The firing command is in. We are now on the automatic sequence, T minus three minutes and counting. During this period, once we do get the firing command, the various tanks within the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle begin to pressurize. They all must be under pressure before we're ready to launch. We have a sequence status board here in the control room that will give us readouts on the overall status of the space vehicle as we reach the terminal phases in the countdown. Now, two, two minutes, 32 seconds, and counting. Our status board indicates that all aspects are ready. Instrument unit is ready, spacecraft ready. Final check of the emergency detection system. That ready light also on. First stage preparations are completed. Two minutes, 15 seconds and counting. The tanks continuing to pressurize in the vehicle. Not as many reports coming now as we all stand by on the launch vehicle test conductor's channel coming up on the two minute mark on the Apollo 8 mission. Two minutes and counting. T minus two minutes and counting. We are still proceeding. We now have uh, recorded that the uh, first stage uh, liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized and the pressure is still building up. One minute, 45 seconds and counting. We have a vehicle weighing 6.2 million pounds on the pad. Interestingly enough, some 1,200 pounds of that weight is just frost on the side of the vehicle created by the extremely low temperatures of the propellants. Coming up on 90 seconds, mark T minus 90 seconds and counting. The Apollo 8 uh, crew standing by, spacecraft commander Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders. We now have a report that the liquid hydrogen tank on the third stage is pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds. All third stage uh, propellants pressurized at this time as we come up on the 60 second mark on a flight to the moon. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60 seconds and counting. The vehicle now is completely pressurized. We're coming up on a power transfer shortly. T minus 50 seconds and counting. We have the power transfer. We're now on the flight batteries within the launch vehicle. 45 seconds. Final reports coming from Frank Borman at this time. Final uh, look at the switch list aboard the spacecraft. 35 seconds and counting. We'll lead up to an ignition sequence start at 8.9 seconds. This will lead up as we build up the thrust to a liftoff. If all goes well, at zero. We've just passed the 25 second mark in the count. 20 seconds, all aspects. We are still go at this time. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are armed. Four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit. We have, we have lift off. Lift off at 7.51 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Looks good. We have cleared the tower. Oh, and there's the rumble in our building. It looks good. It looks like a good flight. It's a beautiful takeoff so far. Building is shaking under us. Our camera platform is shaking. But what a beautiful flight. Man, perhaps on the way to the moon. If all continues to go well. What a puppeting we're taking. Probably more severe than the men in the spacecraft itself. One minute and fifteen seconds, Dan. We're a little more than half a mile into the sky and about uh, nearly four miles downrange. Now hearing the voice of Paul Haney at Mission Control in Houston. And our great VU cameras are picking up the spacecraft. One minute for 40 seconds. Yeah, All looks great. Now in 15 seconds, the inboard engine should cut off on that first stage. 
the one inboard engine. Mile and then and six tenths into the mission, and uh, Frank Borman has conver- confirmed each event as it's been passed to him by Mike Collins at this point. The crew has been given a go for staging. Inboard out on time, Frank Borman says. 25 the more seconds. Engines. The other four engines of the first stage should cut out. Two minutes, 25 seconds. The rocket then will be 20 miles high and going 3,000 miles an hour. And there is the see, staging. Uh, an S1C, the first stage cut off. S2 has ignited, we can confirm. And the thrust looks good. All engines, all sources show the second stage is burning perfectly. They had their fingers. Fifty-one fin- seconds into the mission. They had their fingers crossed for that one. It was two of the engines that failed on the second stage in the and second the, uh, flight of. Uh, the flight train safety console has been released at the Cape. Three minutes into the flight, we're fifty miles high and about ten miles downrange. 